guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show and welcome to another plan with me. So this was the week of October 23rd through the 29th. This was mine and Casey's um, wedding anniversary. 11 years? I feel like I'm losing track of time. I think it was 11 years this past year. Um, Y'all, I have been dragging my feet on this spread. I don't know why. But I could not figure out for the life of me what foil to use. I kept going back and forth with what I actually wanted to do, my foil color, and this is why I have not posted a lot of playing with me's. I've just been, I've been stuck on this one spread and I don't know why, but I finally figured it out. I've got it together. Okay, so this is called Gothic Romance. This is from our shop. Um, and I just think it's perfect. I, it seems that I always have the perfect kit for a, um, October anniversary. Um, so far. So far I've been pretty lucky, lucky to have a kit to use, um, that's more Halloween-ish for our anniversary, but also like lovey-dovey, if that makes sense. So, um, I thought this one would be perfect for the week. So, with that being said, here is the kit. Do I have... Yes, I do have the ultimate kit here, and I do usually always just do um, matte in my planner. I really like our matte paper. It prints really vibrant. I like the way it feels, so I just usually do matte. All right, so I do think I have all of the extras here as well. Yes, I do have every single washi strip because I just I kind of in my head know what I'm gonna do but who knows when I go to put it down if that's really what I'm gonna do so I have every single choice for washi I've got the fashion add-on which has got the big tall box and the two boxes here again I don't know why I pull half of these things that I do I keep forgetting that I don't need when you get the ultimate kit you get two um, pattern boxes in it so I don't need those but whatever I did pull in the extra color which is the orange and also why I went with my foil choice um, and I do have the double box here so did I want to try my well I don't think I have enough boxes to actually trade out Ooh, do I want a color block? Possibly. Hmm, I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. So, I did go with orange glitter. And I just have a plethora of things. And I think this is what just stumped me. When you have a foil bundle, when you have a pixie pack, it's just all right there for you. And it just makes it so easy. But I had to go in and f just make myself a bunch of different things to make it look the way that I wanted it to look. So um, I do have the lightning bolt underlays. I'm using Thunderlays. Yes, I know. But I feel like these are not too busy for me. I think they're going to be great. Um, I did make myself several different customs. So, first of all, I have just regular confetti overlays. These are in shop a la carte, as well as the double box and the tall box just in confetti. I did make myself some light and bolt overlays to mix in. I did also make myself a sidebar custom, so I put... Um, another lightning bolt and it's our anniversary and then Randy and Casey October 26, 2012. We do have this as an option um, for, I mean, not this, but you can get a sidebar custom in the shop is what I'm trying to say. I brought in some of the finer confetti headers and I did make myself two washi strips. So um, when you do a custom, this is what you'll get. It's just like two strips. So somebody had ordered this quote in just like a regular box. Um, but it is actually, it's a Frankenstein quote. So I put it on the washi and I think it works well with like an anniversary <laughs> top spread for this kit so it says I have love to the point of madness that which to me is the only sensible way to love and then I did make myself some line and bolt for the other washi I do have the date dots I've got the icons these are new to the shop I do have the whole reinforcers and I do have my month so 
whew, I'm so glad that I finally am about to lay this down. I, it better be worth all the drama. Hey guys, hello. Long time no plan with me. Uh, I've missed you guys. Have you missed me? I, I don't know what has been going on with me lately. I've just been going through something down in the dumps. Just not feeling like myself. Not feeling like doing anything. I've not felt like filming. I don't feel like talking. I've not felt like laying down stickers, I don't think. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit of burnout. Um, but this past week has been a little better. And so here I am trying to get back into the swing of things and, um, trying to get caught up, y'all. I'm like five months behind at this point and I'm a little stressed out about it. Uh, but I'm here and I'm trying and hopefully I can get some stuff going again. Um, I am doing a voiceover, which is new for me. I have done a voiceover a couple of times, so bear with me. I don't feel like I'm great at voiceovers. I've never done one where I've like actually went through the day by day with you guys, so this is new. Um, and also bear with me on the audio. I don't really know what I'm doing. I will find a microphone if I need to to make it better. Um, but I do feel like. I might be doing more voiceovers than not um, to get myself caught up. I don't know why I think a voiceover is going to help me any at all, but it just seems like it might be a better process for me because it was just really, honestly, nice to set and lay my stickers down in silence. It was kind of peaceful. I kind of enjoyed it. So um, I do feel like it is a totally different thing to be on camera in real time laying down stickers Um than to do a voiceover. So I, I think that this might help me with the whole process. We shall see. So um, yeah, I'm glad to be back and um, <laughs> I hope I keep this going. I really do uh, because I really want to be caught up and into the now of 2024. So let us go ahead and get into this week um, and get at least a week caught up. All right, here we go. These are going to end up being shorter than my regular plan with me, so I apologize. I know some of y'all like longer videos, but I am also going to try to go back to vlogging, so I'll have those videos for you guys as well. It won't just be these plus Hopefully if I stick with it, you'll be getting just bombarded with Plan With Me's anyway. So, um, so the 23rd was, um, we had another death in our family, unfortunately. This time it was Casey's side of the family. His aunt Sandy passed away, um, which seemed to happen fairly quickly. It was just like she was sick all of a sudden and then she was gone. Um... She was such a sweetheart. This was also Roxy's birthday this day. She would have been 12 this year. Um, but I'm going to put that in my monthly section, I think. I decided to do it that way. Um, we cut orders this day, or I did. Maybe. We both did. I don't know. Um, and then I had a little design session. Um, that Stick with a Plain Co. and then Scribble Prints Co., and then Paper Shire there on the doodles. And then I worked on a stupid bathroom. Y'all have been working on that bathroom for a year. It's seriously, it's been almost a year. It's ridiculous. Um, so I sanded the bathroom, sanded on the bathroom a little bit that night. Um, and I used like this little face mask sticker because I always wear a mask when I'm doing it so that made sense um but then I got a headache from sanding the bathroom as I usually do it don't matter the mask I wear it still gets all up my nose and then I get a headache from it so that's fun um and then what else did I put a YouTube binge I think I had a YouTube binge apparently and then it says I crashed out early uh 
working on the bathroom is tiring and sanding is like really tiring i don't like doing that i would not want the job of um drywall and mudding and taping and am i doing anything on this camera okay i mean i should have sped it up just a little bit more i tried that a second ago and then i sped it up too much I am not good at this voiceover thing. I think I'm going to have to just speed it up a little bit more. Maybe next time. We were both in office to stay. That is from Once More With Love. What day was this? The 24th. We cut orders all day long. And then I packaged up what had gotten done. Um, that's from Scribble Prince Co. And then I worked on my Lady in the Tramp mood board this night and got that sent. And then I also worked on some pre-foiled stuff for November. This is when I first started doing pre-foiled. So I think this was for maybe the mystery kit. I don't know. I don't remember. It's, I've slept since then. Um, and then I finished my night watching Hubie Halloween. Um, which is an Adam Sandler movie on Netflix. I love that movie. It's so nostalgic. Like, Adam Sandler, he's got all of, like, his old buddies that he used to have in every single movie. And I think it's a cute Halloween movie. And I watch it every single year since it's come out. Um, I love all those old Adam Sandler movies. Waterboy and... What's all the other ones? There was, like, <gasps> Odell Rules in in the uh, Hubie Halloween. It's just, if you, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Um, okay, the 25th cut orders again. I think that is from Starfish and Frog, which I don't think is open anymore. Y'all, there's been so many sticker shops shut down lately. It's so sad. Um, I'm so thankful to still be here still going so that's that is all thank to you thanks to you guys so i just appreciate y'all so much um i filmed a plan with me this night surprise 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 uh it was stormy nights from caress press and uh then it looks like i did some dishes and cleaned the kitchen we did also have a facebook giveaway um in our obviously facebook group i didn't put that down though maybe i'll put that in the monthly section too uh we went to dunlap this night uh we usually go to dunlap on thursday nights y'all probably know that um but the next day we had to go to it's actually our anniversary the next day after this but that's not why we went like i don't we would have went if it hadn't been something that happened we would have still went because we don't usually i don't know we don't really do anything for anniversary oh did we do anything last year i think we maybe went and got a massage but this year we couldn't because um the funeral was on our anniversary so uh that's why we went to dunlap this night instead because we had to go to the funeral the next day but we picked up pizza on our way to dunlap um and had a pizza night all of those are from stick with the plan co we watched Mass Singer. Um, ooh, speaking of, Mass Singer is already back on. So we watched that just this past week. We went to Dunlap this past week. But um, that little stick with the plan co. It's like a concert one. I feel like it made sense for Mass Singer. I've gotten so many new stick with the plan co's. I'm glad to have some new character stickers. Y'all haven't even ordered stickers in so long honestly i just my like my subscriptions and maybe just a kit here and there i've just really not been in the mood um this was our anniversary this year this year yes and every year um this day we were married 11 years somehow time flies we came home this day and packaged i packaged up some more orders before had to get ready um, to go to the funeral home. So, um, I think visitation and funeral was all in one day, which doesn't happen too often, I don't feel like. Um, but yeah, so we spent several hours at the funeral home 
that night. And then we got home. Um, I started to say Roxy. Parker got a bath this night because he had a vet appointment the next day. And I rack in my brain. I don't know why he had a vet appointment. Um, looks like I watched Fear Street. But actually, I fell asleep watching Fear Street. And I had to like Google what even Fear Street was. I didn't remember. So yeah, I totes fell asleep as soon as it came on and I didn't even try to watch it again I think I was just turning it on to fall asleep that night but um yeah Parker had a vet appointment that next morning and I think it was just to get him into that vet um the vet that we see now was like new when we started taking Roxy when she started having all her problems we went to a new vet because I just was fed up with the old one that wasn't doing anything so we wanted to go ahead and get Parker into this new vet and just get him in their system so that if we ever needed anything it wouldn't be like I mean not that it would have been to begin with but you know we just wanted to get him in the system get him checked out make sure he was a healthy little thing and he is so I think that's what that appointment was so um and then it was a vlog weekend it set up there so we were vlogging or i was vlogging this weekend looks like i did some laundry this day a little laundry stack is from fox and cactus and then i guess that's package yep packaged some more this day and painted painted the bathroom oh man so that sanding i was doing the other day was some hardcore sanding I, whew, I don't like that job at all I don't want to ever have to do that again but I'm sure I will have to um look at I've got painting stickers now I love it I'm so glad I've got some new stuff to use I did not have any kind of like home improvement painting anything so yay to that uh apparently i cleaned up the laundry room this night i feel like i keep the laundry room cleaner than any other room in the house because we have new floors in there and then a little design sesharoni um on a friday yeah what else i guess that's it i swept and mopped the laundry room yeah i keep that floor cleaner than any other floor in the house but now actually mopped my bathroom today as we get new floors i'm taking <laughs> i'm taking better care of each new room i guess um what's this day oh no matthew perry died that day that's sad that was like one of those celebrity deaths that just hit you a little bit harder like i don't know that person but i felt like i did you know um we had a walmart pickup for groceries this day I did actually listen to his, um, what's it called when you write uh, his, whatever, his book that was about himself. Um, he lived such a sad life, honestly. He was such a funny guy. So I put a second coat of paint in the bathroom this night and watched hocus pocus was that hocus pocus too yeah did you guys see they're coming out with a new hocus pocus you know how they put up like stuff sometimes that's not for real like i seen something the other day that was like they were coming out with a new golden girls that was not true but um i feel like i seen hocus pocus stuff for a long time before it was actually really true but i think it's actually really true that they're doing a hocus pocus three so that's cool um so from where i worked in the bathroom all weekend my back was really killing me this day and i just put help me i'm old and look i got back pain stickers i love it i don't love back pain but i love that i have st i have a sticker for that and so i just kind of relaxed this day kind of took it easy laid on the heating pad for a little bit everything was hurting um and i think i did this for a design session sticker it's a hoax. It's hocus pocus on that computer, if you can't tell. Yeah, design sesh. And I did also film, edit, and upload um, my September lineup this day. And I was still vlogging. So I vlogged Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this day. I would link it for you, but I don't really know exactly which, which one it was. I'm sure I could figure it out, but I'm just lazy. Um... 
And then I watched um, No One Will Save You. I want to say that was on Netflix, but I'm not exactly sure. And I fell asleep watching it. I think it was about aliens. Apparently, it did not hold my attention very well. Sorry if that was a weird edit. I don't know if this will turn out looking weird or not. But um, this clip was not inserted, and it should have been. And so I was just talking over nothing. But anyway, I'm just showing you the finished product here. And I did color block. I always love the way that that turns out. I think it looks so good to color block. It's just kind of gives me anxiety sometimes. But now I'm just showing you what is left in the kit so if you didn't know first of all we have a facebook group and secondly i do giveaways in the facebook group this is one of this well this is the giveaway that i do in the facebook group um i need to do one but i'm just showing you what is left that i did not use out of this kit and so i do that with every week and then at the end of whenever i'm done with a month i just kind of bag them all together and then i also kind of de-stash some stuff whether it be from our shop or somebody else's shop um, just kind of put it all together and I pay it forward to somebody, but you can only get to those giveaways, um, or get a chance at getting one of those bags in our Facebook group. So I will have that link below for you guys. Come join us and, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all the things so you don't miss all the things. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.